Okay, students, let's us back to look at the last six questions in this topic. And I've separated these purposely because, as you know, in previous videos, I've shown you that we have our regular verbs in Irish. Now, we only have 11. And out of the 11, there are six and these six below that you have to learn off by heart. And but they're very, very common verbs, verbs that you will come across a lot as you'll see as we go down through them. So let's just quickly go into it and I'm going to tell you what they mean. And I'm going to give you a wee chance to help you learn them I, and show you a few wee tricks and hints that will help you as you progress in Irish and your fluency. So let's go through them one by one and let's start at number seven. You will recognize a number of words down through all of these. Uh, so for example, you will recognize the word skull You'll recognize the word Oberwala. You'll recognize the word Folum to learn, Telefish. And you'll also recognize from earlier in the topic, Breakfasta, Breakfast. So let's look at the questions and the answers. So the question is Anyahi, Anyahi, Anyahi to or Skull in Ye. Did you go to school yesterday? Hui, I went. Hui me, I went. Ni Yahi me. I didn't go. So we don't have a yes or no in Irish. In Irish, we have to repeat the verb. So essentially for number seven, and yahi to or scolanye, did you go to school yesterday? You would respond by saying hui, which means I went. Ni yahi, I didn't go. And a bit like in English, it's not did you go, I goed, I didn't go. And that's where you'll see the change in the question which is here at the start the positive answer and the negative answer and for that reason we have to just learn these so anyahi to her skolanye hui ni yahi i went i didn't go number eight anyarna to upper walla a rare anyarna to upper walla a rare did you do homework last night did you do your homework last night rin me I did. Ni yarna. I did not. Ni yarna me. And yarna to obawala rare. Rin me. Ni yarna me. Number nine. An ro to ig folum rare. An ro to ig folum rare. The me. Ni ro me. The me. Ni ro me. So number nine is Were you learning last night? The me. I was. Ni ro me. I was not. An ro v ni ro. Number ten. An walka to an telefish a rare. There's the same word coming through a rare. Last night. An walka to an telefish a rare. I'm hoping you can probably guess this one. An walka to an telefish a rare. Did you see the TV last night? Honak me. I saw. Niaka me. I did not see. So. An waka, honic, ni aka. An waka to an telefish rare, honic me, ni aka me. Number 11. An nurch to the fadraha. And I hope you're all doing this every morning and night. An nurch to the fadraha. Dirch me, ni dirch me. Dirch me, ni dirch me. An nurch to the fadraha. Did you say? Your prayers. Dirch me, I said. Ni dirch me, I did not say. And nurch to the fadraha. Dirch me, I said. Ni dirch me, I did not say. Number 12. And were to the breakfast or mojin. Fur me, ni were me. So you can all see the pattern of the ni for negative and the an for the questions for these irregular ones as we go through them. So, an were to do breakfasta er mojin. Did you get your breakfast this morning? Fur me, I got. Ni were me, I didn't get or I did not get. So, those are our six most irregular verbs in Irish out of the 11. And as you can see, these verbs you will come across again and again. So, for example, if we look at number seven, we could change number seven to 
instead of an yahitu or skull in you, you might say an yahitu higgin spline in you. Did you go to Spain yesterday? Huime ni yahime. An yahitu higgin disco in you. Did you go to the disco yesterday? Huime ni yahime. Number eight, an yarna tu. Upper walla erre. Did you do homework last night? That could be an yarna tu mata erre. Did you do maths last night? Renme ni yarna me. And this verb also is the verb to do or to make. So, an yarna tu breakfasta. Or, Monji, did you make breakfast this morning? Rin me, I did. Make ni yarna me, I didn't make. An ro tu ig folum er air. An ro tu ig disco. Were you at the disco? V me, I was. Ni ro me, I wasn't. An waka tu. An waka tu Britain's got talent. Honic me. Honic me Britain's got talent. Ni aka me. An nurch tu gia ditch. Le do wami. Ermodging. Did you say hello to your mummy this morning? Dirch me. Ni dirch me. An were to brontanus. Egan nullig. Number 12. And were to brontanus. Did you get presents for Christmas? Fur me. I got. Ni were me. An were to supper. A rare. Did you get supper last night? Fur me and ni were me. So those are really, really key verbs in Irish. Past tense. They are irregular, but it's really, really important that you learn these off by heart. So to help you learn them off, I'm going to show you how I learned them off whenever I was 11 years of age, learning Irish like you. And my teacher broke them down into like a short chant. And you'll see in the left hand side, that's the verb to be. So in the past tense, was, was not, and were you. Then the verb to see, to do or make, to go, to get, to say. So we would have had a chant, and if we were in school, we would be doing this chant now. And that will just do this slowly with me. An ro, ve, ni ro. An waka, hanik, ni aka. An yarna, rin, ni yarna. An yahi, hui, ni yahi. An wur, fur, ni wur. And nurch, dirch, ni dirch. So that just goes through constantly from top to bottom. That means if somebody asks you a question like an waka to, it's 50 50 as your two possible answers. So if somebody asks you an waka to, the two possible answers are honic or ni aka me. So that's our, our verbs all broken down into the question form, which is here at the top, our positive and our negative answers. So that in a chant form goes like this. An ro vi ni ro, an waka honig ni aka, an yarna rin ni yarna, an yahi hui ni yahi, an wur fur ni wur, an nurch dirch ni dirch. And as that just goes through as a chant constantly, that will be, that will embed that in your mind. An ro vi ni ro, an waka honig ni aka, an yarna rin ni yarna, an yahi hui ni yahi, an wur fur ni wur, an nurch dirch ni dirch. So again, if somebody asks you a question like an nurch to jadich, did you say hello? Your answer would be dirch me ni dirch to. An nurch to gurumoyga, did you say thank you ni dirch? An wur to weedabix, fur me ni wur me. An yahi to Go America, did you go to America? Hui me, ni yahi me. An yarna tu, jinyar, did you make dinner? Rin me, ni yarna me. An waka tu, the Simpsons. Honik me, ni yaka me. An ro tu, igdousa, were you dancing? Vi me, ni ro me. So that's a quick overview as well. Just keep learning this and going back through it, and that'll give you a good understanding of the past tense in Irish. Moishiv.